What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest sticks OS on this device. Let me open telegram so that I can show you the post from here. So over here as you can see this is the sticks official project and based on Android 11 of course and the build date here is 22nd February 2021 build and there is the download link and stuff over here and I'll link the XDA thread in the description box below of this video too so you should not worry and over here in the change log it says flash now lc ban over here so yeah and this is kind of a joke let me show you the file size actually so this is about 1.23 gb as you can see and this includes the gapps in the rom file itself so you don't need to flash any separate gapps for this rom and if you look at the name over here it says sticksos 1.0 athena y4 wired of course and there is a release and the build date so that's pretty much it. Let me go into the settings and let me show you in the about section. There is not much things of course and this is how simple it looks like. Pretty much looks like it's a pixel experience ROM or something because this ROM I have been noticing that it does not have that many of customizations even like I would say very less amount of customizations are there but in my personal opinion as of right now this is a pretty simple Android 11 ROM for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. If you like simple ROMs you can definitely flash it. And in the Android version over here, as you can see, this is of course based on Android 11, as you are noticing. Let me go back. The security patch is latest of February 5th, 2021. So latest. And the sticks version says Athena. And the stock kernel here is the Stormbreaker kernel. And there is the build number and stuff. Right now, let me jump into the system settings and let me show you from the advanced. There is a system updater. So that is great. In the future, maybe you can check for updates. Whenever there is a new update, you can install it from here too. So yeah. And in the gesture settings, we have the power menu customization and there we have the advanced restart enabling option. And yes, I have enabled the advanced restart right now. As you can see, this is how the power menu looks like. We have this Google's smart home customization and there is the power off and restart. And right now, if I tap restart, as you can see, there is the directly rebooting option to recovery or the system. And if you tap on three dots, there is the bootloader option too. Let me go back. We have the swipe break screenshot and this feature should work fine as you are noticing. So yes, there is only this edit and share option over here, but swipe to take screenshot is actually working. In the system navigation gestures in the settings, we don't find any customization, just left edge, right edge customization, normal stuff. And we have the two button and three button navigation. But again, for the pill bar, you cannot increase or decrease the size of it. And there is a quickly open camera too. So you can just like quickly launch camera if you want to, as you can see by double pressing the power button. Okay, my power button is kind of broken. so. Right now it's not doing anything. Okay, right now it worked as you were noticing. We are in the Google camera go because this is the stock camera that is present over here on this ROM. And if you are noticing the front camera and stuff should be working fine. And there is the face retouching option over here and you can take basic videos and stuff with this. Of course, there is a translate option too. This is a pretty great like stock camera over here as there is the Google camera go and it takes pretty simple like fairly good amount of quality pictures but yes of course you don't get the MIUI camera over here by default which is kind of a disappointment it could be for some but google camera go is fine for me at least and since gapps is included in the rom file itself the stock keyboard is gboard over here right now let me show you the stock launcher well even the launcher is pretty simple and let me go into the settings let me show you what launcher is it so as you can see this is a quick step launcher so that is great but the other things that I want to show you, there is the developer options and stuff. You can do some tweaks from here too, I guess. But the thing is, there is the enable grid option and allow home screen rotation and add up icons to home screen and stuff. Then notification dots is there. But the things which are not there and I don't really like it that there is no option to double tap to sleep over here on this ROM or at least I could not find it. As you can see, double tapping on the home screen does not do anything. Double tapping on the status bar too does not do anything. So no double tap to sleep at all as of right now, which is kind of a bummer in my personal opinion. But even to the left over here, as you are noticing, it just does this. So no Google's discover page or something over here on the left side as of right now. I don't know how I can enable it, but swiping down anywhere on the home screen gets you to the quick settings panel. Swiping up gets you to the app drawer and there is the suggestions panel, which I think you cannot hide. So that just stays there, the suggestions thing. And even it keeps suggesting some apps over here. As you can see, there is a telegram app icon over here. I added, but still there is the telegram app over here suggesting me to open it or something. So yeah, this is kind of the launcher that you get. 
and the widgets and stuff on the home screen are working fine so this is just an example with my subscribers count widget and that is working fine please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet right now let me show you the quick settings panel thoroughly and you can edit and add more toggles over here even though there is not much of the options that you get let me show you there is no option for the fps info or something that i cannot simply find over here as you are noticing no fps info option so you only get this like screen recording the android 11 screen recording with that you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time with this one and there is the bedtime mode dark theme etc and by the way let me enable dark theme and as you can see it is completely dark it's not gray or something so that is good if you are someone who likes the pitch black kind of thing in the dark mode that's what you get over here and in the settings let me show you by going into the battery settings this is how it looks like pretty simple again we have the screen on time last full charge battery percentage enabling option adaptive battery battery saver and the full battery usage you can see from the three dots over here the battery life should be good if your battery's health is good i guess let me go back and in the display settings we have the dark theme en enabling option again let me enable it and here as you can see you cannot really change the dark theme over here to like the light gray or something it's just the pitch black kind of mode that you get in the dark mode again and we have the adaptive brightness the wallpapers and we have auto red screen and stuff double tap to wake is there but again there is no double tap to sleep option in the lock screen we do not get anything much over here we get the wake screen for notification and that's it in the sound settings we have the vibrate for calls and stuff if i scroll down we have the dial pad tones touch vibration disabling option etc and there is the me sound enhancer so that is good you are at least getting me audio delay over here to so the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well should be good enough and we have the choose preset option for the me audio detect too so that's good enough i guess and if you want to know how the volume panel looks like this is how it looks like over here and you can expand them just like this so no issues with the volume panel even though i see a little bit of lag or something while expanding this volume panel or this could be just a part of the animation as you're noticing so yeah this is how the volume panel looks like and if you're worried about the google assistant let me try from these corners as you can see from these corners the google assistant is working fine i just selected the language so let me try one more time swiping from these corners pops out google assistant super fine okay google as you can see voice detection is working fine with the google's assistant over here let me try one more time hey google as you can see again google assistant is working flawlessly over here with the voice trigger and in the like security option we also get the face unlock option along with the fingerprints right now let me show you the fingerprint speed the thing i hate over here i have to press the power button to lock the device so that's a little weird for me as you can see it unlocks fine let me try one more time so it unlocks again the fingerprint scanner speed is fairly fast no issues whatsoever i am not complaining about the fingerprint scanner speed at all over here the fingerprint scanner speed is very very fast the only thing i am complaining over here is about the customizations it's very very minimal right now let me just complete the setup of the face unlock so it's almost done i guess so right now it shows all set let me just lock the device by again pressing the power button and double tap to wake and it unlocks just notice the face unlock speed over here i locked the device i double tap it is i would say is faster than even some like new devices over here i would say the experience with the face unlock is very very fast as you can see it's it just unlocks right away let me try it again double tapping and it unlocks face unlock is super super fast i would say over here no issues at all and let me try with the fingerprint scanner now and even now the fingerprint scanner is working fine so yes this is a very simplistic rom i would say if you want to flash it you can vaulty and stuff should be working fine even though i don't have a sim card over here let me show you some other stuff like the ir blaster and stuff as you can see with this led rgb remote app the ir blaster should be working fine as you are noticing the light on the top of the device that's the ir blaster over here which is working so yeah no issues with the ir blaster over here in this rom and as you can see it passes the safety net test right out of the box so that means you can use banking apps like google pay over here without any issues right out of the box you do not need magic hide or something and if you want to know the benchmarks here are the android and geekbench scores of this rom 
So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. And please click that applaud button and donate something if you like this video and if you want to support my channel. So that's been it guys. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.